year drought persists to this day, increasing our wildfire threat. And no wildfire in Texas history can match what happened a year and a half ago in Bastrop County. Almost 1,700 homes destroyed and two lives lost. But as folks in Bastrop continue to fight and recover, many will always remember the frightening weeks in the summer and fall of 2011. I lost my home. I lost two homes. Janice Butler remembers 2011's Labor Day weekend well. We were in Waco and our phone started um, blowing up, basically. A massive wildfire broke out in Bastrop County, just a few miles from her property, and her daughter was home. That We had a friend that was working on our garage. He was sheetrocking a wall in our garage, and um, he jumped in our car and packed her up and left, but the fire was at our house within 10 minutes. We didn't have wind here before. Now we have wind. <laughs> Coming back was heartbreaking. Nothing was left. We were out here with all this devastation, uh, pilfering for anything that you could find that was, you know, reminded you of yourself and your family, and it was hot. It was, and it was windy, and all that was blowing on you was ash. And but Janice says she's a lucky one. With enough insurance and support, they rebuilt and moved in last October. But I feel like I, I really, in that sense, have been blessed, and um, I wanted to reach out and help people who didn't really have that support system. They didn't have the insurance. They might not have had the family, the friends, just the resources that, you know, we didn't really know that we had them, but they were there. Now her work is helping others through the Bastrop County Long-Term Recovery Team. The group builds houses for those who can't afford to. It's pretty heart-wrenching to think that we live in as prosperous of a country as we do and, and that we have people that are, you know, struggling to survive. And Nearly 50% of those who lost their homes had no insurance or simply not enough. With grants and donations, the group has built dozens of new homes. The Flores family recently moved into number 50. Thank you. We're very thankful with everyone involved in helping us build this new house. It's just so wonderful to see the joy in their faces when they actually have a house. You know, Sometimes it's better than what they had, but most of the time it's not. And there's still work to do. There's still need. Like here, a man lives on his property not far from Janice in a shipping container. That he's living pretty primitively. He's got plastic hanging on the side. So the plan is to continue the recovery one home and one life at a time. During any wildfire, preparation is key. There are things you can do now to reduce the risk plus plans your family need to have in place just in case. Yeah, around your home, try to limit the number of trees within 30 feet of your house. Also, cut back vegetation and separate shrubs so fires can't spread as quickly. And if you're building a, ho a home, use fire-safe materials on your roof, walls, and windows. Wood shake and shingle roofs are particularly vulnerable. And be sure to create an evacuation plan for your family, complete with food, water, medications, and a map drawn with several possible escape Roots. You want to be ready before the firefighters tell you to get out. And remember, you can find all of our in-depth severe weather plans all the time on KXAN.com. Just go to the weather tab and click on severe weather. Well, we hope the stories we told you help you and your family stay prepared for whatever comes our way this spring. And remember, every family, business, and school should have a NOAA weather radio. It warns you of all hazards from fire to weather. It can even sound an alarm in the middle of the night. And remember, anytime the weather turns severe, turn to KXAN for complete coverage. And use our interactive of radar on KXAN.com to see what's headed toward your neighborhood. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for KXAN Surviving the Storm. Have a great night. This week on KXAN.com, you and a friend can win a hot air balloon ride from Scott Felder Homes. This unforgettable experience allows you to enjoy the beautiful views of Central Texas. Scott Felder Homes, carefully crafted for you. Register for your chance to win at KXAN.com.